Good morning everyone, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening. So I gave you a little run through of the trees on the property and what survived and what didn't. Now I'm going to go into detail and I talk more a little bit about each of them. The first thing I'm going to address is because I had many questions from you guys, rightly so, of what survived during that Texas deep freeze that we had. We got down to a negative three degrees. The wind chill was a little bit more than that, but that's where my pomegranate was. At the beginning of that video, that big pile of wood you saw, that's what my husband chopped off. But let's take a quicker look. My husband did not, did not dig up the root ball, and I'm going to show you why. We started seeing this almost instantly after he cut it down. Um, and we think that there is some life in. Let's look here. Looks like we got some little bean sprouts in there. Uh, but anyway... So we're gonna let this go and we're gonna hope that this comes back. Um, when we first got it, guys, we did have a deep freeze, a very deep freeze, and it killed it off and we thought it was gone then, but then it came back. And so uh, that's what we're counting on here. We're hoping to see maybe some more growth out of these parts of the tree, but I'm not sure we will. I think this one is gonna be our best chance of uh, reviving or still having a pomegranate tree. I know a lot of you guys uh, had fig trees that you lost and uh, you asked me about this pomegranate and uh, the big portion of it did not survive, but we do have life. So if you have not already dug up your root balls on an established tree, you might wanna wait and see um, what's going on and if it will rebound and uh, get you some more growth. Here's one of my rose bushes. This is just absolutely beautiful. Um, this is in the same area that the pomegranate was in and uh, it has survived. I'm happy to report that my beautiful honeysuckle has survived as well. Guys, this smells so good this morning. We have gotten about five inches of rain. We are expecting more today. I just got a notification of severe weather. We'll wait and see. Um, I'm not gonna complain about the weather because we need it this time of year. And Texas has been in a drought um, for the last couple of months. We've had very little rain this year, but look how gorgeous this honeysuckle is. We have two apple trees on the property and they seem to be doing fantastic. Now I know that apple trees do need a hard freeze uh, for them to be able to grow and to produce fruit. And I have quite a bit of apples on these two little trees here. So happy about that. Our little peach tree has struggled for years. Um, it's okay, it's still alive, but it did not produce any buds this year. So no peaches for us, but we're gonna keep on fostering this and hoping that we can kick it out. This is one of two pear trees on the property. It too has some beautiful fruit on it. Very thankful about that, guys. Um, so, so far, what has survived are apple trees, our pear trees, um, the peach tree, but it is struggling, um, our honeysuckle. So let's go up uh, front and talk about more of that. Pomegranate, we're hoping survive, but we won't know um, until a little bit further in the year. We have quite a few elderberries on the property and we are so excited about that. We planted them guys last year and they are really, really growing this year. So uh, we're glad that the elderberries withstood that negative three degrees. So we know that they're pretty cold hardy as well. So here's my oak tree guys. This is a red oak tree. We planted it many years ago. You've probably seen it in a lot of my videos. Oaks are very slow growing, but they are very hardy and they are very um, native to Texas. So glad my red oak survived. Um, it needs a bit of pruning. Boy, did it come out and it came out strong, especially with all this uh, rain that we're getting. Trees are very important to us here on our property because we don't have very many. And um, just about every tree you see on this property we planted. Um, gosh, you know, when we get that south wind, you guys know we get that south wind. And when we get that north wind, we get that north wind. I had a friend give me this. This is some sort of Japanese variety. You can see the top of it did not survive, but let me show you what's going on at the trunk. So this is a very, very fast growing tree. This tree is only about uh, three years old and you can see how big it was from my previous picture. We have some growth coming out of the trunk. So my husband's probably gonna have to cut it off and then we're just gonna let it go from there and see, uh, see how big it'll go. And I bet you by the end of the summer, we have a pretty nice sized tree question is, what kind of winter are we going to have next year? 
This is our mulberry tree. This is a tree that uh, my husband brought from a property years ago that we transplanted. It struggles in the summer, guys. Um, it is the first to lose its leaves and to look like um, it's not gonna make it, but boy, it has sure come through that negative three degrees here that we had in Texas. And uh, there's lots of little mulberries on it. We've never tried to eat them. The birds usually get them before we do, but they survive. The grapevines also survive, thank the Lord, because I know there's a lot of wineries around us here, especially in Burleson, Texas. Um, so if ours survived, I'm sure praying that theirs did too. But uh, we got quite a few clusters of little bitty grapes on these grapevines. Here is my other pear tree that's up in front of the house. We've had this many years, probably about 10 or 11 years. We did not get any pears from it last year. Um, my husband thinks it's because we didn't prune it back pretty heavily, so he did. This year, boy, did he prune it back, but it is exploding with pears, and it did survive that uh, negative three degrees here in Texas. This is the only tree that was on the property when we moved here. Um, it was very little, and you can see it took off much of it, but there is some growth there in the middle. We're not going to prune it back this year. We're gonna wait and see what growth comes back through before we cut it back because it does provide us with a great deal of shade in our front yard. And this is our plum tree, guys. Um, have two of these. They did not bud out this year, but they did survive the freeze. So all in all, we lost probably about uh, two and a half trees. They do seem to be trying to rebound back. We're gonna wait and see, and we'll do a report later for you guys. Um, other things that survived were our rose bushes, our legustrums, um, our crepe myrtles, um, and I think that's just about it. Let me look around here. Oh, we, we have a very small live oak uh, and a redbud tree. So most of our trees survived. The ones that died off um, is disappointing to us. And again, we're hoping that they're gonna rebound because we do see some green growth. It's just, uh, it's very sad to us that we lost um, quite a bit of shade and quite a bit of windbreak this year. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a rundown and show you what's going on and what we did lose and maybe what you can look to in the future um, that will survive um, the very rarity of extreme cold that we get here in Texas. Again, not sure what next year is gonna bring us. We will find out. Um, I know that this year has been very strange. We uh, had a very dry January and February and March. April has been very wet. I think we've gotten almost 10 inches of rain this month. Um, which we'll take, you know, we need it this time of year to fill the ponds and to fill the stock tanks and uh, just to wet the ground really good. They say that we're gonna go into a very dry, hot and dry summer. I'm hoping that they're wrong um, because again, this is a, a very strange weather year. Um, we did get down to um, 34 degrees and the frost was at 33, the frost point was at 33 degrees um, about a week and a half ago. So um, later and later, we're getting pushed out um, if it wasn't for the high tunnel, I think that we probably would have lost quite a bit of our stuff um, already and had to replant like I did last year and the year before. Then we've had some hailstorms, some severe hailstorms. Uh, we got hit, I did a video a couple of weeks ago, I think it was on April the 9th that we got that hailstorm. And then there was one that went through um, Western Fort Worth and uh, Keller just the other night. And I know that one of my subscribers got hit pretty bad and her garden was damaged. So. Uh, be sure and comment below and let me know how you have fared if you're in this area with the weather extremes that we're having. I'm just very interested to see what else is going on out there. So anyway, that's your update on our trees and what survived and what didn't. Uh, I'll be doing a video on what's going on in the high tunnel. Lots of things are growing in there. But uh, take care, God bless, and we will be in touch.